people are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things. Dangerous. Getting somewhere. More machines on their way. Get to safety. I'll handle the rest. Go, Lakasha. I'll help the Nora. Check on the refugees. Guess the show's over. <laughs> a dyer can make use of this. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our sun priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being... When the Usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in Shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were... difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless Kestrels. 
When their rule ended, Sabohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends, and the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. Uh-huh. There's an Osaram in Chainscrape, Tolland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Sabohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. Your priest, Savohar, you said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith. Sure, but shelter looks like a more pressing concern. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know. We cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't... Let me up there, and I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation, if he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days... Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. I should climb that. Looks like I should head up. the ladder. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Savohar climbed up here.
think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. Make an interesting color for my armor. Okay, now how to climb higher. The ladder must have broken off after Sabahar passed through. to make the jump to the other side. This easy? That's a lot of blood. Savohars? He must have hurt himself pretty bad getting over the bridge. It's not looking good. It looks like he left a trail. I can... There's the Stormbird. Getting closer. Machines. The Sabahar must have snuck past them. I could probably slip past them. Or take them out. machine will take a lot of damage from acid. That's all of them.
Chancellor Savoir. In pretty bad shape. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> the true sun above me. You must be Savoir. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> Must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of the ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. And my people will find their home. Listen, Akasha is doing the best she can down there, but. Machine attacks. Angry Osiram. The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of the eventide will burn away their fear. I don't think so. What do you think's gonna happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? A path to a new home. A fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. <laughs> Salvation is at hand. Or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. You punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide. <laughs> and I will not lose faith. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The truth, I love me. True sun before me. Show me the way. This even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sun above me. Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. Careful not to let this stain my hands.
Stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke and a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Savahar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. Who's tired of the thugs? I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the Karja to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. 
I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or Fleabags. I'm taking it. You sure you want to do that, Talland? You know who I am. What makes you think a single Osram lunkhead can take me down? I've got four guys. Huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, blast it. Okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. This is... Savalheart must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard. But your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then. <laughs> 